All right, all right. Welcome back to Currency365 and also iZuba Media. All right, so I just asked the Lord what should I pray about today before I came on. And I was asked, I was asking him, I said, Lord, what should I pray about today? Um, give me wisdom, give me wisdom, give me wisdom, give me wisdom. And I said, okay, it's wisdom. <laughs> you know, I just kept, I couldn't get off of wisdom, right? So, so I was like, okay, so we're going to pray about wisdom. All right. So why do we need wisdom? Everybody should know why we need, but we need wisdom. We need wisdom to maneuver this time that we're in, this biblical time that we're in, this uh, end times that we're in, whatever you want to call what we're in, the, this time of technology, the time of robotics, the time of, uh, of the beast, the time of whatever, right? The time of darkness, the time of uh, light, the time of war, the time of poverty, the time of uh, wealth, the time of sickness and, and disease, the time of, uh, of healing. I mean, it's a, t it's a time like no other, you know, um, and uh, very soon we're going to have flying cars and and all types of crazy stuff. Right. So um, and this is nothing new to God. This, this is just a repeat of, of life and everything is just repeating itself. Life under God is just repeating. OK. Um, and so. We need wisdom, though, in this time period to maneuver. We need wisdom to pick the right houses that we're going to be moving into. Many of us are moving into new houses, new townhouses, new luxury townhouses, new new uh, mansions, new apartment luxury apartments. New some of you guys, some of you guys were like, "Yo, cur currency, man, I, uh, you know, you we you, we was in a, we, we was in Miami in the penthouse chilling, just you know, just, just relaxing. You know, uh, it was a couple of us, me, you, and like three, four, five other people just relaxing." And, you know, and, um, you know, and I don't even know, was that your penthouse? <laughs> you know, like, so like, you know, you got penthouses, you got luxury, luxury apartments, you got town, luxury townhouses, you got mansions, you got all type luxury, single, luxury, single family homes. Some of you guys are going to be purchasing. There's a whole bunch of stuff, but we need wisdom and all this stuff. We, we not we can't just rush out and do these things right first we need that we need the uh, God to complete the wealth transfer for us and then we can go out and get these things and remember when God said that don't go out and rush and purchase a home wait to the fourth quarter or the or the first um, half of 2023 remember that remember when God was telling people that and so look at look what's going on the the markets the housing markets are slowing down they're not red hot anymore prices are coming down in in, in several, several areas but a lot of people are 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 going to be are, are they can't pay their their rent a lot of people can't pay their mortgage they can't pay their rents they can't and so a lot of places are going to be uh people are just going to be leaving their houses because they can't afford to pay for them anymore so these things are going to be happening in big numbers and we i pray that it's not you or me or anybody else right but um but these things are going to be happening this is why god said we if you're going to buy a house wait until the fourth quarter of 2020 um of 2022 into the first second quarter of 2023 because you're going to be able to get some really good deals so it looks like you want to might want to wait till 2023 uh that first half of 2023 you're going to get some really really good deals especially when if the bond market crash is next year uh, you're going to get you're going to get steals right a million dollar houses you'll be able to get a million dollar house with a hundred thousand in cash okay i mean people are going to be begging for money people we're going to have a liquidity crisis right and so, um, so I don't know if the bond market crashes next year or or it's just the flash crash. I'm not sure they're going to go together. I don't know. God hasn't told me that. It, somebody maybe needs to pray about that, okay, to see if the bond market crash and the flash crash are going to happen on the same day. I don't know. Um, that would be, you know, it, it would be what it is. I mean, it, it makes sense, but it doesn't mean that it has to happen on the same time with the, you know, maybe the flash crash is next year, it's early next year, but the bond market crash is uh, 2025, 2029. We don't know, right? Or maybe all of it's next year and, um, beginning of next year and we go into the new financial system, right? So I, you know, I'm, if that happens, then it happens that way, and we need wisdom. So we need to ask God for wisdom on all these things, folks. Okay, and um, and so you got. So here's the thing, folks. You're in a community called the Eyes of Media community, the Currency Three Sixty Five crew. A lot of you guys know each other now. A lot of you guys have talked to each other. Uh, I know the comment section ain't open on this one, but it's open on Currency Three Sixty Five. You know, it, you got. I'm on Twitter. 
Uh, I'm in the Telegram group, right? We're not adding any more anybody else because of security reasons, right? <laughs> right? Uh, and then, um, and then I'm on Patreon, right? So once this wealth thing happens for many of you guys, um, and, and you see, you know, Sheba go up and Luna go up and things like that, you guys will be able to, you know, come on to Patreon and things like that, right? Um, and uh, maybe come on, yeah, you'll be able to come on the Patreon with no problem, right? So you'll be able to do things like that, right? And you'll be able to be more part of the community um, and, um, and 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 talk to people and know people, uh, uh, you know, and, and get get along because you, that's what we're going to need to do. We're going to need to get along with people um, and um, especially people that, that made it through, that are successfully made it through because a lot of people are not going to make it through successfully in this in this new system of this reset of the system um and into the flash crash and all these things um the crash the flash crash and into the new financial system many people are about to be wiped out okay and so we have positioned ourselves not to be wiped out we've positioned ourselves in the prophetic tokens and fiat currencies gold and silver for a reason right and also we have the prophetic stocks like amc and ape and things like that right so and there's some other ones some people have xylem and gas and and maybe you might say man that's not that's not one i don't know you have to pray about it for yourself but you know um so you gotta we gotta you know that may be more long term uh, as they try to fix themselves but we need wisdom and wisdom comes from the Holy Spirit, right? Wisdom comes from seeking God. Wisdom comes from, from Yeshua. Wisdom comes from the Father, right? So we need to seek God. We need wisdom. And we, we need God to pour wisdom into us. You know, we need Yeshua to pour wisdom into us. We need Yeshua to pour oil into us, right? Um, some of you guys have had dreams of Yeshua pouring oil on you and refreshing you and yeshua has done that to me i had i had a dream several 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 i'm not sure if it was this year or last year i had a dream uh, i was um i had a dream I don't, I don't even know what the dream was about but all of a sudden yeshua appears and he's in his brown he's tanned and brown like everybody says you know what i mean so he's the same way I, I, with the, all the people that say that, that yeshua is golden and tan and, and he wears a lot of brown and the golden brown and tan stuff it's true because i keep every time i see yeshua in my dream he's when he's tan golden brown <laughs> bronze right he's basically a, a gold he's basically gold okay that's what he looks like you know he looks like he's gold right he's like a purified gold right and um uh, and so he 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 took the um um some some type of cup thing and it had oil in it and he was pouring it on my head i i'm i don't, I don't know if this was last year or early this year but um but yeah i remember him doing that i remember having a dream about that and i saw yeshua was pouring oil on my head you know um but uh so i've seen yeshua i'm not sure how many times i've seen yeshua in my dreams uh at least i'm gonna say at least two or three times might be more but i i can remember maybe two or three times i've seen yeshua and he's always he's always bronze tan gold okay um i guess he likes those colors you know what i mean i guess those that colors mean pure mean purity you know and pure right um but um but yeah and i've I, and i've seen the holy spirit once okay but i hear the holy spirit all the time because my mandate and my mantle is with the holy spirit you know um some people's mandates and, and gifts are with yeshua some people's gifts and mandates are with the father okay but mine is with the holy spirit i've been hearing the holy spirit my entire my whole life right so um so i, I knew so i knew something was i knew i was something because i kept hearing, hearing things and i'm like what is that you know and and and, and uh, i was like what is that and i always hear stuff and i'm like what is that you know and i didn't know what it was right and of course then growing up i knew it was the holy spirit right and so i knew i knew i was different and i knew that i had gift things and stuff um because the holy spirit was like don't do that don't go over there <laughs> you know don't do that you know and i'm like what who who hello <laughs> you know <laughs> and so i realized that that was the holy spirit right and so when people when people say the holy spirit's a man eh, 
that's just religious because if anybody that has the mandate of the of the mantle the holy spirit knows holy spirit is not a man <laughs> you know um but that's just that's a different topic there's a lot of people that are very very religious and and they will they get very upset about that um as you can see i don't get upset about that the holy spirit doesn't get upset about that because the holy spirit knows that it's been indoctrinated into people that way um, on purpose. So so she doesn't get upset. But the Holy Spirit, the Ruha Kaddish Holy Spirit does not get upset when people call her a man because she knows that it's been indoctrinated that way into people. Okay. And the Holy Spirit knows that when they get to heaven, they will be corrected or she will show up in your dreams like she did in mine and she's done to several of y'all right and she is chocolate <laughs> and she is beautiful one of i had never seen nothing more be I, I looked and i was like she said she this is what she told me in my dream i, I showed the dream before i was about to go do some some sin okay <laughs> i was about to go i was about to go sin right you know and she appears and she's just completely fine and chocolate, right? And I was like, "Who's this?" And I, I, I in the back of my mind, I knew who it was, right? But, but because I could sense it, right? The, this, the holiness and the purity was there. And the Holy Spirit said, "Johnny, don't do it." <laughs> and I, and I knew who it was because the that's what I've been hearing my entire life, right? When I was about to sin or about to do it, I would hear that voice, "Don't do it, Johnny, don't do it." You know, go over here, go over there, and um, or or to go this way, right? And or, or don't go to that place. Go go over here. Don't take that road. Go to this road. And I was like, who is this? <laughs> you know? And it's the Holy Spirit, right? And so the Holy Spirit's been with me. You know, it's been with you and been with uh, you know the, the Holy Spirit guides us comforts us uh the holy spirit is a nurturing spirit you know um if you go to google and you put in uh the ruha kaddish you, you google will tell you it's a female spirit right so we we all know that most of us know that but because of religion we we some of you guys still play the game and say he and that and the holy spirit is okay with that because it is that's what you've been indoctrinated to to believe but uh anybody who prays about the holy spirit uh and get and the holy spirit Will, will reveal herself to you um and uh tell you that it, she's she's she, she, it's not a he <laughs> okay but but that's you know it is what it is and you know people people get upset about this stuff you know be and and, and so that that tells you you're, you're religious because if, if um because I don't get upset when you call it the Holy Spirit a he. I just say, no, it's actually a she, but you can pray about it and can get confirmation on your own. And people people get very upset. Why? Because they're religious. I have a relationship. That's, that's the difference. I don't have to get upset with the Holy or about the Holy Spirit, about people calling the Holy Spirit a he when I know it's a she, because I have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. That's like you calling, uh, that's, that's like somebody calling your mother Sarah, but her name is Cynthia. And they really believe her, your mother's name is Sarah. And and they really get angry when you call her a different name <laughs> but you don't get angry why because you already know the truth you have a relationship with your mother and you know your mother's name is sarah not cynthia or something else right so well, you know or whatever name i said right but uh you you know you know the truth because you know your mother right so it's the same way i don't i don't get upset about these things because i know the holy spirit right i have a relationship with the holy spirit my entire life i have a mandate and a mantle with the holy spirit you know so i don't get mad about stuff but but there's a bunch of people that get very angry because they have that religious spirit in them and they refuse to get confirmation they will never pray about it because they don't want to they don't want the holy spirit to be a woman because their entire life it had been a man you know what i mean so it, it, it will mess them up uh, you know psychologically they're like uh, no right but <laughs> they don't that's why so they'll never get confirmation until they go to until they go into heaven you know if they get into heaven then they will realize okay oops my bad <laughs> you know i had that religious spirit on me holy spirit i'm sorry you know and so i'm pretty sure that happens all the time you know the people that get into heaven they're like holy spirit that you i thought you were a man no baby i'm a <laughs> i'm the queen <laughs> uh, oh man, uh, my bad <laughs> you know so it, it's it is what it is right but i i you know so we just got we got to go with wisdom you know wisdom 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 we need wisdom right wisdom get confirmations on these things you know like right now people people need to ask god if you don't believe the holy spirit is a, is, is a female ask god 
Ask the Holy Spirit. Go get your confirmation. Use your wisdom and go get your confirmation. Say, Holy Spirit, reveal yourself to me in my dreams and, 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 and tell me if you are a man or a woman. How hard is it to do that? It's so hard for people because they don't want to they don't want to know the truth about it because if the Holy Spirit shows up and it's a woman, then they're gonna be like, Oh my god, I've been lied to my entire life, and then they're gonna get really angry, right? And so that's why people don't ask the Holy Spirit. Because we got some powerful prophets out here, and they keep saying the Holy Spirit is a he, and yet they can ask the Holy Spirit themselves, but they don't want to, right? They don't want to ask the Holy Spirit because they know that they might get the, a different answer, <laughs> you know, so they continue with what they're doing, right? And it's the same thing. It's the same thing. You know, they want to, they want to live in the lie. And that's the, the lie is their truth. And that's, that's what they want to do. And that, you know, it is what it is. That's why we need wisdom, right? We, we, we perish for lack of wisdom, right? And so it is what it is. It's not a, it's not a heaven or hell thing. So it's okay. You know what I mean? But um, can you imagine if these a lot of these people actually prayed about it and asked the Holy Spirit to, to uh, reveal themselves and and, and the, the church would be a, not the church wouldn't be divided on this because everybody would just pray and get confirmation from the Holy Spirit, right? The church is divided because people don't want to pray about it because they're in doctrine and they don't want to come out of their indoctrines. Right. This is why people still celebrate these holidays and stuff. People don't care. You got people right now celebrate. You got Christians celebrating um, um, uh, Halloween. How is that even possible? Right. Uh, yeah, I got to give one day to the devil, man. You know, it's like, did that even come out of your mouth? <laughs> you know, like, it's just it's crazy. But this is this we they're indoctrinated with this with, with 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 the world and with religion and and they 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 just can't oh I I just do it for the children oh so you're sending your children to hell with you uh, okay that that's not cool <laughs> you know what I mean uh, so now they have to go through the, now they have to go through all the all the demons and 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 stuff now they have to deal with that now you're putting that those bloodline curses on them. Now that blood's on your hands, right? When you're doing that, <laughs> it's a lot that goes on with all this stuff, man, that people don't even know about. And, and the spirit, this is why we have to have wisdom. That's why this video is about wisdom. We need wisdom in this time. We need complete, we need Solomon's wisdom, right? We need wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Father, pour wisdom upon us. Let's pray, man. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for the teaching of wisdom. We thank you for the teaching of the Holy Spirit. We thank you. And then, Father, anybody that's listening that doesn't believe that the Holy Spirit is a woman, uh, is a queen of, of the of the of the heavens, then they shall pray and and you shall reveal the Holy Spirit to them. And so that they can so that all of this controversial stuff and all of this non-belief goes away and we are going to start believing in the real things and not made believe things and not religious things and not false doctrines but we're going to believe in the real things because we have relationship we're going to we're going to believe because of relationship we're going to believe because we saw it in the spiritual realm we saw it in the physical realm or you told us loud and clear and i know you can be loud because you almost blew my ears off <laughs> last year in one of my when in one of my dreams so I know how loud you can be, Father. So that's where you have to be loud to your people and make it clear who the Holy Spirit is. Make it clear who you are. Make it clear who Yeshua is so that we can stop all of the division, all of the religious bull crap that's going on in this world, all the false doctrines, all the things that make people want uh, to, that, that they use to control people. We just, we need to cut this stuff off, man. And Father, it, we, we want you to bring your wisdom, bring your wisdom down and stop all of this stuff and, bring, and unite the church as one in Yeshua's mighty name. If the church will pray and confirm things instead of run and hide, 
then we would be united as one. Because, Father, you're waiting to show these people, these pro prophets and pastors, evangelists, who you really are, who your Holy Spirit is, who Yeshua really is, as they continue to just put out false information all over the place because they are going off of doctrines and, and religion instead and religious spirits instead of actually relationship. And so we just thank you, Father, that wisdom is going to be used in this time period. Wisdom in, in wealth, wisdom in knowledge, wisdom in the spiritual realm, wisdom in the physical realm, digital realm, wisdom in our families, wisdom in marriage, wisdom in everything that we do going forward. We just command extreme wisdom. And Father, pour the, the oil of wisdom on us. Pour, pour the oil of healing on us. Pour the oil of family on us. Pour the oil of marriage on us. Pour the oil of love on us. Pour the oil of success on us. Pour the oil of blessings on us. Pour the oil of fruitfulness on us. Pour the oil of youthfulness on us, Father. Pour that oil. Pour the oil, Father. Pour the oil and let us lead the way in Yeshua's mighty name. We pray the the kingdom of God should not be should should not be broken. We should not be poor. We should not be fighting. We should not be divided. And we should not be sick. You know, we should not be at anger. We should not be seeking revenge. We should not be doing any of the. We should not be cussing and cursing each other. We should not be fornicating. We should not be doing. Uh, we should not be having adulterous affairs. We should not be doing any of these things, Father. We should be holy, holy, holy. In Yeshua's mighty name, we pray. Shalom, shalom. And Father, we repent for all of our sins and all the things that we have done in the secret sins, hidden sins, unknown sins, known sins. We repent for everything that we have done in the spiritual realm, physical realm, digital realm. We repent, we repent, we repent. We cancel all dreams and all uh, demonic dreams and all fantasies and all perversions and all abominations and uh, all plans of the enemies. We cancel it, terminate it, null and void it, send it to the feet of Yeshua for judgment and destruction and all dreams that other people had of us. We also send it to the feet of Yeshua for judgment and destruction that are that is negative and demonic. Every good dream, though, Father, every good dream, every holy dream, every pros prosperous dream, every healing dream, every dream of joy, peace, love, and happiness, and fruitfulness, shall it come to pass now. In Yeshua's mighty name, as we prepare for the up for the for the more events of the wealth transfer, because the wealth transfer has been happening for years now. But we as we prepare for the upcoming events with the wealth transfer um, that are going to be happening here very soon. We just give you praise, Father. We thank you, and we thank you for changing our lives, Father. You said it would be a debt-free month. You said, you know, so we, we we command that the rest of this year is is debt-free. That pe miracles, miracle, miracle debts will be paid off. People's debts will be paid off miraculously in Yeshua's name, or you will send tokens up, skyrocketing them, and people will be able to pay off their debts, their houses, their cars, their their bills, their taxes, everything that they owe. They will be able to pay it off in Yeshua's mighty name. We will be debt free, debt free, debt free before 2023 in Yeshua's mighty, mighty name. We pray. Shalom, shalom, shalom. We thank you, Father, for the teaching, for the wisdom, understanding anybody that disagrees with the teaching, Father, may they go to you tonight. May they go to you in the morning. May they go to you in the afternoon and ask for confirmation about the Holy Spirit. Ask for confirmation about Yeshua. Ask for confirmation about you and give it to them quickly in Yeshua's mighty name. We pray, Shalom, because we are not a church that's divided. We are not a church that's that is, that's about religion and religious. We are a church of people who have relationship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Yeshua's name. And that's that's priceless. That is priceless in Yeshua's mighty name. We pray. Shalom, shalom, shalom. All right, guys and girls. Peace out. God bless. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't get mad. Just ask God for confirmation for those who are have that religious spirit on them. Ask God for confirmation because 
As you can see, I'm not mad when you guys say stuff that I don't believe that I don't believe in because I, I just go to God about it. <laughs> and I'm like, nah, I, that's not what God told me. But, you know, and I don't have to be mad about it. I just I just have a relationship with God. And I say, nope, God didn't tell me that. Or, yep, God said that or God said that. Right. And God will show me the things that are true. And God will show me the things that are not. And it's that simple. When you see people that are uh, angry and upset, it's because they have a religious spirit. Okay. So this shouldn't be that way. You should be loving and kind and say, I'm going to go to God about it. And then we'll see what happens from there. That's it. Peace out. God bless. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.